slides, which is uh, really the main topic of this live. So this live is going to tell you based on the structure we just uh, learned to tell you how to transform the unstructured data, use our panels to a structured data set. So there are two unstructured uh, raw data sets available uh, for us to use. So the first type is the open electronic health record data set. For example, e EICU, uh, Mimic, and uh, other different OMAP CDM related database. And another type is the user customized data set because we don't know the structure. So there are other treatment for um, this type. But let's first look at the first type. You have the data set. You can download the data set from the um, official website and then use our PyHealth data set processing modules to process this unstructured data to these structured data sets I just mentioned. And this procedure won't lose any of the information. We just clean the data for you and sort the data, store data in a very structured way so that we can retrieve it in a unified uh, way. And then after we clean the data set into a this structure, we later on will define the task on top of it to really generate a more clean um, dictionary and JSON based uh, like format for the downstream models. And that's well, we will show that in the next live. This live is really just for the uh, first data processing step to transform the unstructured data into a machine learning model readable format. So this is the first pipeline. If you have uh, this data set ready, you want to ask to process the data set for you to be a structured format and then design a task on top of it. I will show you how to do that right now. Um, yeah, again, let me stop sharing. Okay. And uh, show you another Jupyter Notebook. Oh, let me open the Pi House again. That's related to the second tutorial. So again, it's this tutorial is a uh, PyHealth datasets. Again, first thing is to do pip install PyHealth. And then this tutorial will tell you how to transform this dataset into a structured way like this. So our PyHealth datasets already pro provide these uh, processing APIs for Mimic 3, Mimic 4, and EICU, and all OMAP uh, CDM-based datasets. Uh, I will not go over the instructions detailly, but I will tell you the only argument that's needed is the root to your data set, the root folder of that, and the tables that you want to process because each of the data set here will contain different table names, such as admission, patient, uh, diagnosis, procedures. So you have to tell us what tables you need for you uh, to do the some downstream machine learning application. And we will process the only processing that those tables for you. And uh, another functions we provide is the code mapping. We can support a uh, lot of uh, code mapping system. And if you click here, you will see that. So code mapping basically means uh, in the original data set, uh, some code are stored are represented in one coding system, such as ICD-9. And if you wanted to, for some purpose, you want to transform it to another coding system. And uh, here we provide a very easy way to do that. Uh, for example, here, this example shows, if you wanted to transform the original NDC code to ATC3 three level code, then just pass this argument. And the available uh, code that we are support, you can see it here. So we support diagnosis coding system, ID9, and procedure coding system like ICD9, uh, CCS, and medical medication coding system like this actual RX norm and ATC. And we will also cover that in the later uh, map if we're talking about medical code in later on. But here you just need to mention these are the only argument that you probably will try. So let me show you some example. Let's say if we wanted to uh, process the Mimic3 data, and uh, and uh, here we provide the root for the Mimic data set. This is a, like a 
open link, we have uploaded a synthetic mimic data, mimic three data into this um, open link uh, because we are not allowed to distribute mimic three data sets. Um, so we only provided the synthetic data, but this data has exactly the same format as the original mimic three. So it's free to use, you can try it on. So the only thing that you need to specify is the root here, the root to that uh, data folder and whatever table you want to process. Here we want to process the diagnosis code and the procedure code. So in the original Mimic uh, database, it contains different data tables. And uh, these two tables are uh, in that list. So we will directly input into the uh, row name of the table because that re will give us the idea of what table you want to process. This uh, this is restricted. You only uh, you are only allowed to input the row table name to this um, argument. And uh, here in this example, the code mapping we want to use is to transform the diagnosis ICD-9 code to CCS code. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And we will finish this processing for you. OK. So here, before this step, actually, you have to download the data from the uh, Mimic3 website and then give us the root. So let's show uh, what is inside of our object Mimic3 underscore DS. So you can you can use dot info to see what is inside. So this is basically our like uh, basically these structures that I just shown. Our processing will output this structure and exactly map to the figures that I have drawn. You can use a dictionary-based search to search the visit, to search the event, or other the event code. And uh, you can also use dot tables to show uh, what tables are available. This table basically means what uh, clinical sequences here, like different color sequences here, are available for you to query. And you can also use dot stats to see. And after the processing, uh, what is the statistics shown up in these data sets? So we provide the general statistics and uh, the statistics for different tables that you want to process. Let me uh, show you some uh, explanatory things. Um, let me enlarge it. So you got the mimic rate data sets, as we mentioned, you just dot patient. So this is this will be a dictionary, patient dictionary. And uh, you can print, uh, list the first 10 keys of that um, patient dictionary. These 10 keys is basically means the IDs for the first 10 patients. And uh, we can look up the this patient, giving the key, and uh, we, we obtain the patient. You can get the patient gender, the birth time, uh, and uh, you can also get the visit of the patient, just use dot visits. You have the visit dictionary under that patient and uh, use dot keys to get all the visits available in that patient. Apparently, this patient only has one visit. So we can also get the visit by query uh, using this pay, uh, visit ID, get the visit, and uh, obtain the visits in color time, available table, and other attributes if you, are, if you want to. And uh, we also got, uh, because this in this uh, data set, we have uh, we have these two tables available, so we can get these like diagnosis under this visit. Basically, here are one, two, three, four. Here are seven events available. That means under this visit, the diagnosis sequence has seven events, and you can also query other information related to the event. I will stop here. So the second example will go with the OMAP CDM dataset. Basically, the exact same structure, giving our, give us the root, the tables, and the code mappings. We process it for you, and the other um, processing steps are the same. So I will stop uh, this um, tutorial. So basically, currently I have to tell you how to uh, transform these open EHR data set to this structure, and next I will 